Today's video is brought to you by Squarespace. Stay tuned until the end for a special offer. Hello my loves, and thank you for tuning in to today's oil painting time lapse, which features a portrait of my friend and classmate that started off painted from life, and then I finished the piece using a photo reference. Real quick before I start, if you'd like to see a 60 minute tutorial of this piece with instructional voiceover, along with hundreds of hours of exclusive content and monthly art rewards, feel free to check out my Patreon at patreon.com slash happy artist. Since we only had about two hours for this pose, I initially intended for this to be an a la prima style piece, but as usual, I overestimated my abilities and ended up running out of time. Then this painting sat there unfinished as I got busy with other deadlines and I forgot about it until several months later. I would say that it took around 10 hours total of active painting uh, spread over about five sessions in order to finish this piece. I know I tend to primarily paint only women, so I was very excited for this chance to try painting a male subject, especially one that had such a cool mullet hairstyle and epic mustache. And for some strange reason that I can't explain, I just really loved painting the mustache and I'm looking forward to painting more mustaches in my future. I would say the most challenging part of this painting was definitely the neck, which to be honest I've always kind of struggled with because there are just so many subtleties in the form where it seems kind of cylindrical in shape but it's not quite as rounded as a cylinder and there's all these tendons and the neck is wrinkled very subtly. Um, and then when you add an Adam's apple to the mix, it just made it that much more daunting. But with this painting, I really wanted to push myself to render as realistically as possible, just to help me practice accurate anatomy and also just as a personal challenge. So I tried my best to be patient and just slowly chip away at the piece. I've learned over the years that if there's something that you find yourself struggling with um, or dreading to paint because it's very difficult and you tend to make mistakes, it's all the more reason to push yourself to paint that thing over and over again until it becomes less scary and more familiar. I also found myself painting most of the piece using a small size 0 over 2 filbert brush, which is pretty much the smallest size I could buy. Um, and even in the larger details like the forehead, cheeks, and neck where there seems to be a larger, more flat surface area, I still found the smaller brush to be a lot more versatile in rendering all the subtle nuances. Painting realistically is all about capturing the exact correct values, colors, and anatomy. So having a small brush definitely helps with all those meticulous details. And at times, I found myself almost using drawing techniques with the small brush, such as utilizing the direction and length of the brush strokes to mimic the topography of the anatomy I'm painting, similar to the way you would crosshatch with pencil. Thank you. 
I utilized the second pass and the reference photo to help fix some proportion errors I had made hastily during the live session. At first, the portrait didn't really look like my classmate, and it definitely took some time to tweak the placement and size of certain facial features to bring that likeness out. I also decided not to paint the plaid shirt and opted for a solid, dark, bluish green shirt instead. I wanted most of the attention to be on the details of the face and not the loud patterns on the shirt. Also, I guess if I'm being really honest, I just ran out of time to paint the very complicated shirt pattern. about wraps up today's video thank you all as always for spending the time to watch me paint and for all of your support and lovely comments if you're interested in adopting the original painting he's now available in my shop at happyd-artist.com and if you want the piece at a huge discount, my never ending sale is still going on in my shop. So if you'd like 20% off your order of prints and originals, just enter the code HOLIDAY at happyd-artist.com. And if you're interested in learning more about how to paint and draw, I have lots of art educational content on my Patreon page, including exclusive video tutorials, step-by-step -step photo tutorials, live streams, podcasts, and even surprise art gift boxes. All available at patreon.com slash happydartist. I'd love to have you join my Patreon family. I wanted to quickly thank Squarespace for sponsoring this video and for supporting my channel and the art community. I've actually enjoyed using Squarespace for four years now to build and host my online shop and website. So whether you need a domain, website, or online store, make your next move with Squarespace. Start your free trial today at squarespace.com and visit squarespace.com slash happydartist for 10% off your first purchase. Also, if you want to check out more artworks, works in progress, and just random daily artist adventures, feel free to check out my Instagram and you can follow me at the handle at happydartist. <laughs>